Buying a home, don't panic. Just make sure you get your crawl space inspected on that old house. Ready to go, buddy? In this video, I want to set some expectations of what you need to expect if you're buying a home built in 1950s. So we're going to focus today on the plumbing under this house. As you can see, we got some old, old drain pipe, which is galvanized iron mixed with cast iron. And we got water supply pipe that's also galvanized steel. And we have some copper pipe that's been uh, added because most likely the galvanized water pipe was leaking. And then right here we got spot repairs on the drain pipe, which is the, which is the black ABS plastic. So, you know, whoever owns this building is just uh, fixing what breaks as it breaks. So that's one way to own a property. You can just fix it as you go, or you can be proactive and, and get rid of all this old pipe. Now this building's from the 1950s, so all this pipe is most likely set over 70 years old. And on that copper, I see a red stripe, and that tells me that's type M copper, which is the cheaper, thinner pipe. Now, look at this right here. This gets really interesting. This ABS plastic, straight ahead. Look at the angle that's at. You got a pipe, a small two-inch pipe going into a three- or four-inch pipe, and it's it's under the pipe? How's, how does water drain out of that? Can anyone answer that? That's... <laughs> This is a Friday afternoon install right here. Look at that. I guarantee you that pipe on the left is full of water. That two inch pipe is full of water. So yeah, that's wrong. So right here we're coming up on a huge rust pimple. Kind of makes me want to pop it. Um, anyway, that, that's an indication that that drain pipe is about to start leaking right there. Once again, that's just really old pipe. Now we're coming up on some galvanized water supply pipe that's completely corroded there at that elbow on the left. And as you see, there's more areas of that that are corroded up there. And now we're coming up on some more corroded uh, galvanized drain pipe. Now here's a condition I see quite often. Somebody ran a PVC lawn irrigation pipe through the vent screen into the crawl space just so they could get to the other side of the crawl space and then run it up the wall back out of another vent screen. Uh, people do this all the time. It's not a good idea to run PVC pipe like that under your house for your lawn irrigation. It's just not an approved material to be run through there. And that's typically at really high pressure. Most uh, irrigation systems are not uh, regulated. So it's got street pressure on it. So there could be 160 PSI running through that pipe. And if that thing breaks under your house, you probably won't even know it for a while until it's really flooded under there. So don't do that. Right here, we're coming up on a spot repair where you get copper connected to galvanized pipe. And then over here is the drain pipe. And see how corroded that is right there? That's gonna, just going to start leaking soon. That's how it happens with galvanized and cast iron pipe. It, it corrodes from the inside out. Right here, we're coming up on what is the original drain pipe under the house, partially buried in the soil. So this is like 70-year-old pipe right here. And... Part of it is in the dirt where you can't see it. So I've seen some cases where uh, the surrounding soil is all damp and wet because the pipe was probably leaking under the dirt and that's what was causing that condition. But look at this snafu right here. Look at that top pipe. That is completely wrong. And they got the wrong fitting on the bottom pipe on the right. And I noticed the water leak to the left on the uh, water supply pipe. So we did have an active leak here from the corroded galvanized water supply pipe. And right here we have a spot repair, right there's ABS plastic. So like I said, the owners are just fixing what breaks as it breaks. And then you got this discolored copper pipe up there connected directly to galvanized steel, which is why it's black. So when you connect those two pipes together, they turn black. If you haven't seen my other videos on plumbing, I suggest you check them out. And it talks a lot about black uh, copper pipe and how it happens. Black copper pipe means you need to change it because it's going to start leaking. And then right here, straight ahead, I found another water leak. And the water supply pipe, it's a very slow leak. The corrosion is just barely starting to let the water out. When a pipe starts leaking from corrosion, it's a very slow leak. It starts off as a drip. It's not a pipe burst like people think. 
If it's corrosion, it's gonna slowly turn into a bigger leak. Now it looks like we're coming up on some more discolored copper. Why? Because it's in contact with galvanized steel. And that's what happens. It turns black, it starts corroding. Even though there's a piece of brass in between the two right there, it's still turning black. See that? That's really dark black. It's gonna start pinhole leaking, pitting, and you're gonna have a bigger problem on your hands. So it's not worth keeping galvanized pipe. Just get rid of it if it's in your house. It's a thing of the past. Move on. See more black pipe. Look at that. That's a good 10 feet of pipe right there on both sides. So yep, gotta replace that. And there's more corroded galvanized steel pipe, water supply right there. Two sections right there, all corroded. Those little leaks waiting to happen. It's only a matter of months before that stuff starts really fucking leaking, spray, spraying everywhere. If you look straight up ahead, look at that. Look at all those uh, rust marks. Those are all potential pinhole leaks right there or slow drips from the pipe. And here's more of that same condition right up ahead here. Look at this. Look at all that pipe. It's time to replace all that galvanized water supply pipe. Before I did the crawl space inspection on this fourplex apartment building, I, um, would, of course, did my general inspection inside the building. In every bathroom I went to in every unit, there was non-functional flow in the bathrooms. What that means is if I turn on the bathroom faucet, water flows out. That's great. But as soon as I turn on the tub while the faucet is running at the sink, the sink faucet flow goes almost to nothing. Like it minimizes... Some, and some of them it actually stopped. There was no water coming out when I turned on the bathtub. That's non-functional flow, and that is caused by this old galvanized water supply pipe. There's no need to keep this in your building. So if you're looking for a house built in the 1950s, 1960s, if it has galvanized, expect to repipe it. You want to get this done because it's going to become a nuisance issue. It's all going to leak eventually. I'm a proactive person. I like to get on top of this stuff quick with my own properties. So I suggest you do the same. But this video was just to help you understand what to expect if you're going to buy a home this from this era. If they haven't upgraded the plumbing, you're going to wind up upgrading the plumbing. So that's it. See you on the next one.